Before the rise of Sir Donald Bradman, three cricketers, all born the same year and all right-handed batsmen, challenged to take the mantle of heir apparent to Australian cricket's legendary Victor Trumper. All three had only short careers though, two of them ending tragically. Born in Scone in 1896, Harry Owen Rock was a cricketing product of Sydney's King's School. Studying medicine at Sydney University, Rock was a late bloomer, making his first class debut at the age of 28, scoring 127 in his maiden innings against South Australia at the Sydney Cricket Ground. In his second match against Victoria, he scored 235 and 51, finishing the 1924-25 season with an average of 172 runs. Despite the impressive start to his career, Rock would only play one more first-class season, qualifying as a medical doctor and moving to the New South Wales city of Newcastle. He retired from cricket with an average of 94.75. Rock died in Sydney at the age of 81. Frank O'Keefe was born in the Sydney suburb of Waverley in 1896. After excelling in junior cricket and baseball in the district, he returned from service in the First World War, determined to make up for lost time. 1920-21 was his breakout season, when he averaged 99.33 in Sydney grade cricket with the Paddington Club. After making his debut that season with New South Wales, he suffered a string of early failures in first-class cricket. Moving to Melbourne the next season, O'Keefe was selected to play for Victoria and enjoyed success, scoring 180 against South Australia. In a match against the Australian cricket team on the Sydney Cricket Ground in February 1922, O'Keefe opening for the rest of Australia slaughtered an attack including Jack Gregory and Ted McDonald to score 177 in the first innings and 144 in the second. But Australia would not get to enjoy O'Keefe's talents as he abandoned the relatively amateur sport in his own country to play as a professional in England. Sadly, O'Keefe would not play for long as he died of peritonitis two years later at the age of 27. Norman Calloway was born in the remote New South Wales town of Hay in 1896. When his family moved to Sydney, Calloway made an immediate impact with his cricketing ability. In 1913, he became the youngest batsman to score a century in first grade Sydney grade cricket, scoring 137 not out for Paddington against Middle Harbour at the age of 17 and 196 days. After joining the Waverley Club, Callaway continued to amass runs in Sydney grade cricket and at the age of 18 was selected to play for New South Wales, making his debut against Queensland in February 1915. In one of the final first class matches before war halted interstate cricket, Callaway scored an incredible run a minute, 207 on debut with 26 boundaries his only innings of the match. Hailed as cricket's next big thing, like many young men at the time, Calloway enlisted for war service soon after, but was tragically killed in the Battle of Buller Court on the 3rd of May 1917, at the age of 21. <laughs> 